Give us a quick story about the worst whooping you've ever gotten. Oh, nigga, that's an easy one. It's the last whooping I got. Ooh, the last whooping is always the worst one, right? The last whooping. Ooh, oh. Um, I started rubbing my leg just thinking about that shit. So we had a field trip. This is sixth grade. And so nice. sixth grade, sixth grade was only here in Birmingham. I went to a white school. I was bust out uh ninth, like an hour out to, to to the east side to Roebuck. Yeah, yeah. So we had a field trip to some museum or some shit or whatever. And I forgot to get my mom to sign the permission slip. I just forgot. It wasn't like I couldn't go. It wasn't like I was on punishment. Oh, I could go to the fucking museum. I just forgot to get that bitch signed. And you know, know. if you don't, oh, and you know, no. if you don't go on the field trip, they put you in that room with all the other ain't shit niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sit there for eight hours, and your Game Boy ain't got for three hours worth of battery, so you yeah, can't yeah, even yeah. play your Game Boy all day. So my mom was left handed, so I couldn't <laughs> do the slant the way that she do the slant on her signature. Yeah, yeah. This white boy, Matt Burrell. Matt go, I'm left-handed, just let me do it. <laughs> you know, I forged my mama's signature on this permission slip. I went on this field trip. We got back to the school at 2.30. I'm chilling. I got all the souvenirs in my hand. I got a, yeah, yeah. I got a Auntie Anne's pretzel. Got pretzel crumbs on my lips and had a good time. I get back to the room, to the classroom. Nigga, my mama's sitting in my desk. She crammed up in my desk, chilling. She was sitting at your desk. School don't let out till 3.30. It's two o'clock. My mama checked me out. That's how anxious she was to get in that ass. Wow. Mama checked me out. And Dang, she checked I, you out of school? Checked me out of school with my ass. Bro, I got an ass whooping <laughs> from Roebuck to West End. From, W.J. Christian all the way to the west side of Birmingham, which is a solid 35-minute car ride. Just, I tried to sit in the back seat like she was my Uber driver. She was like, uh-uh, come on up front like you always do. I got my mama right hand, wop, 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 all the way home. Then when I got home, got the actual proper whooping. That shit was just The proper whoop. whooping. The <laughs> You know, the shit in the car don't count. When your mama hits you in the car, that shit don't count. That don't count. That don't count. That's pre-whooping. That don't count. That's (laughs) (laughs) pre-whooping. My mama put that marinade on my ass and then put me in the house with the work on me. That was it, man. I I never forget that one. That was the one. But after that, my mama figured out, because I would always choose whooping over punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get through. After that, my mama It's quicker. It's quicker. Yeah, she figured out after that, she was like, all right, no more whoopers. We taking privileges. And that's oh, okay. when I really, that's when it started hurting. You know? That's crazy, man, because the last time I got a whoop, my mama broke the broom on me. And uh, and uh, when she did it, <laughs> when she did it, I, uh, she, would, she, would whoop me, she would whoop me so much and it broke on me. I was playing like my collarbone was broke. So <laughs> my, my collarbone broke, oh. So she put me in a bathtub with some Epsom salt and put it and, and put it all on me. <laughs> and then she called my grandma because she was scared because she didn't know if it was broke. <laughs> she, she was scared to check me into the hospital. Something wrong with JB. <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting there like, my grandma was like, you see why I don't tell you? Now your ass about to go to jail because you don't broke the room on it. And I'm sitting up in the bathtub <laughs> thinking like, ah! Oh! Uh, that was the last whooping I got. But it worked though. It worked. Man, I'm waiting to whoop mine. Because here's the thing, man. Like, I'm waiting to whoop mine. I, let me <laughs> rephrase that. I ain't waiting to whoop my son. <laughs> I just know we got to fight at some point. I got to choke him. He's a black man. Sooner or later, he going to challenge me for the throne. And I'm going to have to yeah. choke you. Yes. And it needs to be a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs like I I ain't touching my son at all. This is a 13 year long game. I'm gonna okay. wait till wow. he's like 14, 15. He think I'm still that time out, go to your room ass nigga. I'm taking your no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna scare him. And that's all you need. Like I, everybody go, don't whoop your kids. What they should say is only whoop your child once. Pick yeah, one yeah. time. Wow, that's a good method. That's 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 my plan. Only whoop your child one. Just one time, but you gotta make it count. It can't be when he three 
and he ain't <laughs> like my son tonight didn't want to finish the potato soup. He wanted some crackers, so he kept yelling for crackers for twenty minutes. You don't whip no kid over a food choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait till he sneak out the house, take your car somewhere. That's when you choke him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, then, and if I lose, I gotta leave the house. Like I really, <laughs> that's what I'm scared about. I also believe in that. I believe if you if you're a man and you lose the fight to your son, that it's like the lion. It's, like it's, it's, lion... it's his house. It's his house. Yeah, it's his house. You know, what you gonna do? Especially if you're a step daddy. If you're a step daddy, you lose to the stepchild. Oh yeah, you gotta leave. You gotta leave the house, bro. <laughs> you gotta leave the house. <laughs> You gotta leave the house. You step that in, you get your behind wall. By the sun, you got to leave the house. That's your mom's ain't working out abusive. no more. Y'all got to meet up at Ponderosa and go back to your crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, that's why stepdaddies be abusing them kids so much. They be coming in too hard. Wow. <laughs> Trying to establish dominance.